Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and today I have brought a very interesting problem for all of you. This is Pathfinder, check your understanding problem 17 from Electrostatics. So here we get into the problem, let me read out the problem for you. So uh, here is the problem, two identical metal plates each of area A are arranged parallel to each other as shown. So this is one metal plate and this is another metal plate and they are arranged like this and then there is a spring connected and there is a battery connected over here ok the lower plate is held fixed and the upper plate is connected at its middle to one end of the spring of force constant k so the spring has got a force constant k and the lower plate is fixed the other end of the spring is attached to a fixed support ok when either of the plates have no charge the equilibrium distance between them is d so when the plates are uncharged this distance is d now the switch is closed to apply voltage between the plates so we are closing the switch to apply the voltage what would happen these plates will face some attraction and then spring will also be pulling it upwards so there might be an equilibrium now the switch is closed to apply voltage between the plates what maximum voltage in this way can be applied between the plates so that they would not touch each other or they would not collide okay ignore the force of gravity as compared to the spring force and the force of electrostatic interactions so this is where the question ends in pathfinder but uh, i have added an assumption which is not mentioned in the problem it should be mentioned in the problem otherwise students might get confused so what's that assumption assume that upper plate reaches equilibrium position with negligible velocity due to some viscous damping so we are assuming let's say somewhere here there's equilibrium position so don't assume that it has got any velocity you can assume that this reaches the equilibrium position with negligible velocity so that should have been mentioned in the problem okay now if you want you can give it a try i'll get into my analysis right away so let's see so what's the solution scheme see uh, let's assume that plate gets into equilibrium at some uh, displacement x from the initial position okay so now my idea would be to find the force function as a function of x so when the plate comes down through a distance x i would like to write what is the force on the plate there is an electrostatic force which is attracting downwards so that's in the positive x direction i have taken downward as positive and there will be a, a, a spring force that will be acting in the negative x direction so the resultant of two forces is the net force of the function of x so that is for the first step finding force on the plate as a function of x now where will the equilibrium be so we can locate the equilibrium by equating the force as a function of x to zero so we'll get the equilibrium position and then see uh, it's important that for stable equilibrium if whatever is the position of equilibrium if you uh, move the plate a little down the increase in downward force should be less than increase in the upward force right or we can say that the uh, derivative of force with respect to x should be negative as x increases uh, from equilibrium position so force should become negative so that when x is positive force is negative the, the force is restoring and that means the equilibrium is stable so use the condition for stable equilibrium that is df by dx equal to is less than zero as if x increases force should be along minus x uh, okay so that's the scheme of the solution and now i'm just going to uh, perform all these steps one by one and we'll get the solution so let's see so what is the capacitance at a general x so this plate gets displaced by x so then this gap becomes what this must be d minus x so capacitance is epsilon naught a upon d minus x that is the gap between the two plates and then the charge in the plates should be equal to you know that uh, charge is nothing but q is equal to cv so that's what the charge is and then the attractive force between the plates is q square by 2 epsilon naught standard result if the charge on the plates is q then uh, the force of attraction in the plates is q square by 2 epsilon naught but there all there's also a negative force uh, due to the spring so minus kx so that this is the net force function okay that is minus kx plus av square epsilon naught upon 2 d minus x squared okay so that's the force function right so q square i've just substituted the value of q and uh, that's how you're getting a d minus x square and a v square over here okay so i hope you got it okay okay so now for equilibrium this should be equated to zero okay so minus kx plus this whole thing this should be equal to zero so that's what i've written uh, uh, not here uh, this this is the equation number 5 that uh, net force is 0 and also for stability f dash of x should be less than 0 now if you take the derivative of this function this comes out to be minus k for the first term and the, for the second term it comes 
plus a v square epsilon naught upon d minus x whole cube. So this is the derivative with respect to x and this should be less than 0. And uh, if this is less than 0, obviously you know that you will get a uh, uh, you will get an upper bound for uh, v, right? You equate this to less uh, less than 0 and you make the inequality less than 0, then you are going to get v less than something, right? Uh, and we are interested in the upper limit. So in the limiting case, instead of making it less than 0, I can as well equate it to 0 and knowing fully well that uh, whatever value of v I get, that should be the upper bound from for the inequality, okay? So that's what I'm doing. So uh, I've taken the derivative of this and equated it to 0 okay instead of take, making less than 0 I have just equated to 0 because I am interested in the limiting case so now you look at equation 4 and 5 so this is the equation 4 is based on the derivative and equation 5 is based on making the net force 0 and then uh, you see in equation 4 and 5 we have two unknowns and two equations what are the unknowns so x and v are the two unknowns and we have two equations so you can uh, solve them so it's a simple equation you can just uh, do substitution and elimination and if you do that uh, you get uh, x as d by 3 it was not asked but uh, that's fine uh, and v comes out to be 2 by 3 under root of 2 by 3 kdq upon 3 epsilon naught a and that's the answer we are interested in and as i explained to you this must be the upper bound because i was supposed to solve the inequality instead of equality and from here it was clear that inequality will lead to the uh, upper bound for voltage okay so that's my solution for this problem i hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you enjoyed the analysis please do, do give a thumbs up to my video and uh, please share this video as much as possible with your friends uh, through whatsapp uh, telegram discord or whatever medium you might be using for networking with the fellow students and most importantly if you're not already subscribed to my channel please uh, do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video almost every day and uh, thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you